Hi there, it's Tim with Far North Magic. Thought I'd do a look at uh, the intro decks that are coming out at the beginning of December. Uh, I figured I would take a look at like the old decks that were kind of $20 decks and see like how did they do for value and then what they are now. So like these Zendikar Rising decks, they came out. I rewatched the professor's video on them. He was all kind of excited for how the value was. And now they are, I used the goldfish uh, price for the current uh, value. And like he was saying, they were over $90 at release. And then they're 36 and $38. So, uh, none, and like, a lot of the cards, like, the Una, the Sig, in the, and even the Omnath, they didn't hold. Even, like, cards that held for a little bit, like the Damir Signet, uh, it has got reprinted so many times that it's not anything anymore. When I looked at the professor's video for these two, I didn't even see a value because he was so disappointed in the cards over $2. Um, but then when I looked at the value for now, the Reptitide's like 50 bucks and the Iron for Battle's 45. And then I looked, when I looked at these, he was excited for these guys because they were kind of expensive, but it was all on like, new cards so that drove up a lot of the price that was unsustainable and they were like 87 and 106 like that wasn't real numbers but it made sense to uh, look at it from like a release day and then to now uh, the elf deck is the Phantom decks like 40, like almost 40 bucks, and the elf decks 43. So, the the prices on the decks are down like two thirds, type thing, which is fine because, like, you can't have a deck be 40 bucks, uh, be 80 or 100 dollars, and be sold for 20 bucks because like that doesn't make any sense like stores could just open them and make infinite money and like there's just uh even when you factor out the bulk like there was still like decent value in these decks um so then looking at these commander decks i think one of the things holding them back for value is just the uh, decline in prices that uh, some of the staple cards are now. So, like, um, when I look at like the first, the first deck is like they made the decks be just the allied colors. Uh, they do look kind of simple, which is fine. Um, because it's a starter product. But they at least put some value in. And the... Um, but um, I end up worrying about some of the cards they reprinted. Because it's either... Um, like a, a scarcity card or just like it's on the the path to reprint to nothing so for the first flight deck there is uh eight cards that are over two dollars uh sorts of plowshares at just over two dollars and 228 sphinx's revelation at 250 thought vessel at 329 i really think that's gonna get crushed down um uh, within another reprint or so. We've got Biden and Thassa at 345, True Conviction at 366, 
uh, Safara Skyblade at 389. I was kind of surprised at that one because I was pretty sure that was in uh, one of the box sets. So that must actually have like actual organic demand. Uh, gravitational shift. I kind of worry for that one because I'm pretty sure that was only in Rise of the Eldrazi. And we got Talisman of Progress um, at $3.99. I think the Talisman is uh, definitely going to go down a lot more. Uh, just because it's finally getting some reprints that are like solid amount of reprints. So... Like, I remember it was over $10 before the Warhammer deck. And I'm like, holy cow, this is crazy. Um, but I also think, like, some of these decks are going to struggle with, like, um, you have, like, for value-wise, not play-wise. When, um, like, your Arcane Signets and stuff now are going to be under a dollar. Your Soul Rings are, like, a dollar fifty. Uh, it is nice that they did put, like, a swords and, um, like, some staples like swords and counterspell and, uh, generous gift in. Um, even, e uh, Aetherize was a card that was creeping up until, like, the last little bit of, like, a couple reprints. So, like, it's nice that they're, like, reprinting, like, even the Signets. Uh, each deck has, like, their color Signet, corresponding color Signet. Um, the one thing I do think is kind of ch uh, chintzy is the basic land amount. Like, they put 30 basic lands. Like, I don't know... I guess they just didn't want to fill it all with, like, tap lands, but uh, kind of surprised they didn't put a couple other, like, I'm surprised there's no Gilgate, I guess is the thing. Um, so the Demir deck is definitely uh, in danger of low value. Uh, so we got Grave Danger. And it, it looks like a zombie deck, and I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't put, like, one other card that was, like, decent value. Um, just because I think, like, a chunk of this deck is in the for, uh, Midnight Hunt zombie deck. Uh, but... It is nice to see that with the amount of reprinting they've done, they finally got, like, Wayfarer's Bobble back down to, like, a really cheap price, like, at 50 cents. Uh, even Talisman of Dominance, like, under a dollar. Like, that was up there with the Talisman of Progress for a little while at, like, eight ten dollars Even the Signet at just around a dollar is really good progress on, like, getting some of these staples down uh so i do kind of find it like kind of underwhelming for anything of value though but uh just is what it is like this one is the lowest value at 47.83 uh the next one's the chaos incarnate deck uh so that's a rakdos deck I think like it's interesting that they put the um, they put a lightning greaves in this one, and that's a, over seven dollars. They also have uh, Archfiend of Deprived, uh, Depravity, and that's three ninety two. I was actually surprised that didn't get a reprint earlier. And, like, this one also has, like, certain, a couple cards that, like, you got your Chaos Warp at just a dollar twenty-five. That's a good progress. That, like, I remember that was, like, three bucks for a long time. Uh, you also have a Solemn. And they finally beat Solemn down. A Sad Robot for under a dollar. It's, uh... 
that's pretty good. And then you got uh, Spiteful Vision at just over two bucks. You got Blas Blasphemous Act at two bucks. And uh, Blood Gift Demon at two bucks. So, um, even like the Talisman for the Red Black Talisman, I remember that was like four or five dollars earlier just this year. So, and it's good to see that they like put the Sunbirds invocation in to keep it reasonable price because I think it got a reprint on, uh, last time in like Commander 21 in the uh, is it deck uh, for the next deck it is the blue, uh, red green <laughs> dragon deck uh, this deck is the highest value but I think it's also got like the likely, uh, the most likely uh, cratering of some of the cards. So you got um, Talisman of Impulse. I don't believe that will hold at 224. Haven of Spirit Dragon at 259. You got uh, Dragon Speaker Shaman at 294. Uh, and that one got reprinted in the game nights product i think even as a multiple so like that one's gonna get really crushed down but like it rebounds at least if it doesn't get reprinted right away uh scourge of valkis at 292 uh runehorn hellkite at 342 like that's a card that like i don't mind them reprinting because like it was a low supply card like that's gonna go down probably under a dollar it's about 342 right now you got thunder Mile hellkite at 440 elemental bond at 441 i'm always kind of surprised when i look up that card uh vandal blast at almost five dollars at 481 uh i'm really surprised they don't reprint vandal blast a lot more than they do some of these other cards and dragon tempest which is also i'm pretty sure is in the game night so like i don't think that one's gonna hold at 899 um this one also has like a swift of boots i'm always surprised that boot the boots is holding over a dollar like you got beast within like way beat down like 50 cents <laughs> like pretty decent like i think that's also going to be very handy with like some of these decks where um with stuff being reprinted so much that the decks can actually be stronger decks than they would have been in the past even though the the card values are not the the uh, highest uh so the last deck in the batch is a token deck it's token triumph with a uh, Citadel Arrow Pants as the most expensive card at eleven eighty one, I don't think this card will hold at all. I think it's just a, a definite scarcity play because um, it was only from Saga. Um, other cards in the deck are Slade Ancestry. Uh, Johnny Color of the uh, the slate's about four fifty, but that one's only been reprinted in like the last reprint was like dual deck anthology I think, so like that one's gonna get crushed down pretty hardcore too. Um, you got a Johnny Color of the Pride at three ninety seven, Donna Hope at two sixty four got curse of bounty at 227 i didn't think that card was that much and the even a path to exile which is like pretty decent at 214 i'm always surprised that path is holding over two bucks nowadays just because like it's been so many printings but i guess it's like the whole thing where like 
I made the I make the joke that you know, like people don't think they have enough paths till they have like twenty of them, and then they're like, oh my god, I have two twenty paths. It's crazy, but uh, overall, I think if you can get any of the decks around twenty bucks, uh, it won't be super terrible. Uh, but I probably would wait until closer to Christmas and hope that they put them on sale. Because I don't think there's going to be too much, like, too crazy a fanfare with them. Uh, definitely, I think the, the zombie deck, the Grave Danger deck, is, like, definitely the weakest for value. Um... But we'll just have to see how they fare and they're received, I guess. Uh, these guys kind of had mixed. Uh, and they all got crushed down. Um, so. And with them being all reprints, I guess, like, that's also kind of a, a big negative. But, again... If it can, like, help on board a bunch of players, I think that's good in the long term. And, uh, hopefully they don't, well, I guess if they overprint it, then they'll get super discounted. But, uh, hopefully they don't force stores to take too much. <laughs> but, uh, what is your thoughts on the starter commander decks should they have bothered or just like stick to like should they be making normal commander decks twenty dollars again because like this elf deck like decks like this were like really good for twenty dollars but now they're into this like charge everyone fifty dollar type thing forty fifty dollars so like i guess fifty dollars jesus so uh do you buy commander decks and does do the starter commander decks interest you at all? I'd like to know in the comments. If you could uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, that would be uh, great. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and have a good rest of your day.